The BLM riots last summer caused several deaths, probably a dozen, more than a billion dollars in property damage in this country, most of which has not been rebuilt. In case you've forgotten, here's what they look like. That's all been memory hold. Save it on your hard drive. Probably won't be available soon. But the spirit lives on. Just days ago, a BLM activist called Hawk Newsom threatened the newly elected mayor of New York City, Eric Adams, who for the record is also black, but whatever. Newsom promised, quote, riots and bloodshed if the new mayor dares to enforce the law. The existing laws of the city of New York. We're going to kill people if you dare do that. So that's a threat of violence. What's interesting is that Merrick Garland, who's our attorney general, our chief law enforcement officer, hasn't even acknowledged it. Instead, he's been targeting parents who complain about school boards because they're terrorists. Today, a DOJ whistleblower came forward with evidence that Merrick Garland has been using counterterrorism tools to investigate parents who don't like being told that they're racist. Because you have to sit there and take it. You're racist. Okay. So counterterrorism officials created a so-called threat tag to allow multiple federal agencies to track parents as if they were domestic terrorists, like they're ISIS. So if this is true, it would mean it's time to impeach and prosecute Merrick Garland because he just lied under oath during his recent sworn testimony on Capitol Hill. Maud Marin is a lawyer and parents' rights advocate. We need a lot more of those. Also a former New York City Council candidate joins us now. Maud, thanks so much uh, for coming on tonight. So here you have Thank you, Tucker. a guy threatening the new mayor of New York with violence if he dares to enforce the law. The Justice Department ignores it and spends its time classifying people like you as Al Qaeda. What do you make of this? <laughs> well, I was pretty shocked, I have to say, when I read the letter um, that Merrick Garland wrote responding to the National School Board Association letter. And that letter from the National School Board Association asked the government to classify parents like me um, as domestic terrorists. And Merrick Garland responded very quickly to that letter and said that he would take action, that he would create a federal task force. And he doubled down on the letter that he wrote when he was testifying before Congress. That um, doubling down and that enthusiasm for prosecuting parents could not stand in any stronger opposition to the silence that we're hearing now when, as you correctly point out, activists who um, were rioting last summer in New York City are now telling our new mayor-elect that if he implements the policies that he campaigned on um, to get the rising violence in New York City in check, that if he implements those policies, there will be fire, riots, and bloodshed. That's their words. It's almost like some people in authority consider lunatics like that threatening violence like their own personal militia that they don't restrain. They sort of doing the bidding of a political party. It almost seems that way. Well, what we heard a lot last summer um, while riots were going on in New York City, um, in my neighborhood, the stores were broken into and there was broken glass on the street for days as we, mm -hmm. we saw stores boarding up their windows. Um, what we saw was a discussion of those riots as protests. There's a big difference between protests and riots, and everyday parents and the families of New York City know the difference. Well, yeah, and you can't destroy our cities. Not everybody can move to Montana. You, you can't let our biggest city become a cesspool. And so I'm just grateful that you're, you're fighting all of this. Mom, Aaron, I hope you'll come back. Great to see you tonight. Thank you, Tucker. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.